Here. I thought I would do a quick video showing how to cure a problem. Um, this is a Mobi magic charger with uh, your battery pack here for, of course, the Apple Magic Mouse. And lots of people, including myself, had problems with this constantly disconnecting. Well, I got tired of it, so I finally figured it out and fixed it, and I thought I'd show you. It's actually kind of a two-part fix here. These fit really tight, so I use a little tool to get this open with. First, I'm going to explain a problem with this mouse to begin with. Um, a lot of people have problems where certain batteries won't work with them, uh, and it's a connection issue. And... Hopefully you'll be able to see this right down in here, right there. I have soldered onto this connector and this one here, leaving a bump. And what this does is it allows better connection with the battery. Oh, actually, let me see here. I'm trying to watch my preview here to make sure I get this on screen, but it's lagging of about two seconds behind. Anyway right down in here you can see these connections and what I did was I soldered them now some people just roll up a little piece of tin foil and stick it in there when they stick the battery in that works but it's not a great solution but anyways so your average battery um, this tip is sometimes not quite long enough to stick inside that hole and what happens is is this edge it's insulated rubs up against the plastic here and the tip won't go in the hole so that's fix number one that fixes the mouse to start with this battery had a similar problem but with its connectors on this side this is the back side you notice this is the side that goes in that hole that I just showed you and it only has one pin well that's not a problem on here uh, as long as you've got that other problem fixed in your mouse this side works just fine this side on the other hand doesn't so again I've added two bits of solder to this right there to make this stick out this way further because these pins won't stick in there far enough to touch or make good contact and just moving the mouse around can cause this to jar a little bit and then that that piece comes unconnected because it's just barely connected again you could throw some uh, tin foil inside a little ball of tin foil right in those two spots and try to get it back together but that's the wrong way to do it the right way to do it is just to solder it now you do need to be careful um, there are two batteries in here rechargeable batteries and you don't want to overheat those now i've soldered for many many years so i'm able to get in there and solder that in two three seconds no problem um, if you have an issue if you're not skilled in soldering what you may want to do and it's a very small tool but this is a micro torx tool i do not know the size number but you can undo this and then you can pull the rechargeable batteries out and they basically look like this. They're, it's not this brand, but they, you know, they're double A's size battery in there. Anyway, now there's one issue with this and that is when you've successfully made these sticking out far enough, you may have a problem putting this back in. Mine, what I had to do was try to drop it in fairly straight and then I used a very thin tool this is a very flat this is actually a lock pick and what I did was I put this in there and I push this back like that so that the battery can be pushed back in and so it's it's a little difficult but the good news is, is once you get this one in there and get it locked into place, you should never theoretically have to take it out again. Um, I was having disconnects from my uh, computer to my mouse probably 
five to ten times a day. I did this fix two weeks ago, haven't had a disconnect since, and it worked just fine now. So I hope you like that. Um, if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out, and I can do more videos like this whenever I need to or whenever I uh, find something new. And um, so hope you appreciate the video and give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have a question down below in the comments section. And I'll see you guys later.